Hey folks, would you like to understand the dimension pattern? Here is the quick video tutorial. We will start from scratch and we will create new 3D model with base shape and our base shape will be based on the base rectangle. Okay. I'd like to show you how to pattern and how to use the dimension pattern. For better explanation, I will create, for example, whole feature. And the whole feature will be defined by the dimension selected from the left side and bottom side. Okay. Over here will be 50 and for example, 60 and diameter will be on the 10 and depth will be 20. Yep. Yeah. So 10, 20, 50, 60. It will be good for understanding how I'd like to manage a pattern. Yeah, you can see here that right now I created one hole. This hole we would like to pattern. So you would like to use the pattern feature directly from the flyout menu or from the ribbon. So it's up to you. We would like to go here in this di direction. So I will use the dimension 60 and every, for example, 70 millimeters, I'd like to create new hole. So you can see here that right now I'll create a second member. And for example, in this direction, I like to create four members. So you can see here that in the dimensions, I use the number 70. If you come from OK, the system will create for you the correct pattern. If you would like to modify, you can select the definition and in the direction two, you can select here or directly here. You would like to select dimension 50 and you would like to go from this surface to here, for example, 55. And the system automatically create viewpoints where the members will be created. If you confirm, the system will create for you the necessary pattern that you selected. The question is if your object will be created in different way. I will delete holes and I will create a new one one more time. So new hole will be definite from that surface, but I like to select this surface for the, for the second reference. And again, we will specify the depth, for example, 20, diameter 10, this one will be 50 and this dimension will be for example 350 yep yeah. and be careful for the pattern feature because if you select the pattern and you would like to go here this side to the right you need to set negative value over here i have to select minus 70 and again you can choose how many members you would like to create yep yeah. In the dimension, be careful and use negative value because the dimensions and specification of the dimension is the how the system will create the pattern feature and pattern members. Okay, so you can see here that in direction one, I like to create and specify the direction based on the dimensions. Okay. The question is that, for example, you would like to create a first member based on the original dimension and another members will be a little bit bigger. You can select the definition and if you use the control button, you can specify, for example, that another hole will be bigger for five millimeters. So add by control button, the dimension for the diameter. And if you finish it, every another hole will be bigger and bigger. And again, if you would like to specify the different depth, use the control button and specify, for example, every another holes will be bigger 
for example, three millimeters. And if you finish, you can see right now that system specified the bigger depth and bigger diameter. And how will it be looks? It will specify the direction too. Yeah, so select and for example every 60 millimeters will be another one and for example three times every hole in the first direction will be changed by the diameter and depth and if you would like to change dimensions here in the second direction you need to select control button and for example I'd like to create a bigger dimension in the direction 2 so for example 10 millimeters and if you finish the system will create a bigger and bigger value so you can manage the depth dimension position and which member will be created really easy because right now you understand how to define the direction one what does it mean positive and negative value how that is the possible to specify the direction two and you can choose which members will be not created so unselect confirm and you can see that right now the system doesn't create this feature member or you can select the definition and add this member that you would like to create it. It was a quick example how to manage dimensions pattern feature. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.